Welcome to the first edition of GI Disease of the Week. Brief overviews of common or interesting GI problems as explained by me, a third year GI fellow. Let's start with inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD. Now this is a huge topic, so we'll just start with the basics. The naming of IBD is a bit confusing because it encompasses two more commonly known diseases, ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. In general, IBD is an autoimmune condition where the immune cells attack the gut. This causes inflammation both at the microscopic level and the macroscopic level, which GI doctors can see when doing an EGD or a colonoscopy. From the patient perspective, this inflammation can cause abdominal pain, diarrhea, bloody bowel, movements, nausea, vomiting, and weight loss. Many of these symptoms can be caused by other diseases too though, so we need to do tests to diagnose IBD. We often start with blood tests and then perform stool tests. To officially diagnose IBD, we need to perform a colonoscopy with biopsies. There are many differences between Crohn's and ulcerative colitis, the two main subtypes of IBD, but the key difference is that Crohn's can affect any part of the GI tract, whereas ulcerative colitis only affects the colon. This is why completely removing the colon can actually cure ulcerative colitis, but it would not cure Crohn's. Removing the colon is a big surgery and has a big effect on lifestyle, so we don't jump right to that for treatment though. IBD treatment requires requires inducing remission of the disease and then maintaining that remission. This is done with many different medicines, including steroids, mucosal anti-inflammatories, and for more severe disease, biologics, which actually work by blocking different parts of the immune response to attempt to stop the inflammation altogether. By keeping the disease in remission, we can avoid the complications of IBD. The inflammation from IBD can cause blockages in the intestine, holes in the intestine called fistulas, severe malnutrition, infections, and more. These are serious diseases, so please talk to your doctor if you have any symptoms that you're concerned about. Thanks for watching and let me know what disease to do next.